Today we're going to look at your first farm on Medieval Dynasty. This video will be a full tutorial on how you can grow and harvest your first ever farm in this game. If you want to see more videos like this, please do consider liking and subscribing for more, but for now, let's jump into it. The first thing you need to do is find yourself a reasonably flat area with not too many obstacles in the way, because if you're doing this early game, you're not really going to have the tools to get rid of some of the bigger resources like the big rocks and things that you sometimes find in the game. Then go to the build menu, go down to the buildings over here, and then up up to farming here and then over to fields over here. At this stage you get to select the first corner of your build. I'm just going to build off from my house so I only have to build three walls. So what you want to do is get it close but not too close and I'll show you why in just a second but basically if we go from about here then once we start to come over like this it'll be in the green. You'll see if you can't build it goes red like this and if you build too close to the house you'll find it's going red quite often. So the size is going to be largely depending on the size that's available to you early on into the game so we're just going to build ours here just like this. The next thing you'll need is a hoe and you can craft that up in the handcrafting menu by going up here the wooden hoe right there as you see just one log and five sticks needed for this so with your hoe equipped you can go into the field and you can start to hoe it and basically the land will change as you start to hoe through from this sort of greenish like rugged area to this sort of stony area right here you know when you've done the whole field because those four little wooden corner post things actually disappear and this means that the field has now been hoed entirely now at this stage there's a few things you're going to need one is manure two is a bag in order to put the manure into so that you can spread it and three is going to be the seeds that you need in order to plant them so let's go through how we get each of those those few things and we'll start with the bag which if we press Q and we go into the handcrafting the bag shows up just here as you can see a simple bag is easy enough to make but it will require leather you can get leather by hunting a variety of wild animals but early on into the game the animal that is probably safest and best for you to be hunting are deer now this isn't a video about hunting but there are some good videos out there on hunting in this game so for now all I'll say is you want to go and kill those deer and you'll get the leather from them and once you have that leather you'll be able to make up the simple bag right here and that's going to come in handy later on. Now we're going to need some coins. So at the moment I have plenty of coins right here, 335, and that's so that we can buy both the seeds and the fertilizer. Now chances are when you first started the game, you started near the town of Gustovia. So I'm going to go into Gustovia and show you who you can talk to there in order to buy the seeds and manure. So here we are in Gustovia and we're at this point right here with this big wheel for the well. And I'm just going to use this as a focal point and show you how to get from here to the traders that you need to go to. So we're going to turn around like this and we're going going to head up this road right here so you can see on the left here you've always got this person here they've got the furnace and the kiln and stuff working in there so from this building we're going to continue up like this and take the next right and go down this little street right here until we come to this building just here so in this building you see this guy here who's just like whipping the ground and we're going to go and talk to him and ask him to show us his wares now you'll see here you can actually buy a bag for 270 coins so it is possible but i think most of us are going to be making a bag this early in the game as the money is hard to come by now before you buy any seeds from this this guy you want to make sure that you have your bag equipped so mine's in quick slot number five there so i press five to equip that then you want to right click go to field and look at what seeds are actually available you'll see for example that carrot seeds it says there this seed can't be planted in this season and a lot of these are actually crossed out so we need to look at what seeds we can plant so at the moment we only have two available to us and that is wheat and it is rye so now when we go ahead and talk to this guy and ask him to show us our wares we're looking for wheat and we're looking for rye so i'm going to go ahead and grow wheat in today's video and uh, the wheat is a little bit more expensive it's actually double the price of what the rye is so it might depend as well how much money you've got in game now i know that the farm I just made is a two by two so when I buy this I'm going to select to just buy four of them and that's going to be plenty it's actually all we can actually grow at this time so from this trader you can also buy the fertilizer so again we're going to need that in order to make our farm once again you do need one fertilizer per area that you're planning to farm so for us right now we're going to buy four of these so there we go four of those except and we're good to go so we're going to go back to the farm now and get this planted but I just wanted you guys to be aware that it's important you check what you can grow because there's obviously no point buying things that are out of season them. So here we are back at our little farm and what we want to do is go into our inventory and go down here to our simple bag and make sure we have that equipped somewhere in our quick slots. So for me number five I can go ahead and press number five and then when I hover over here you'll see here that we require fertilizer. So if I right click what's holding the bag I go to field and then I go down to fertilizer that is now selected. At this stage I just need to look at the field and you can tell it's showing up because if it says field there the text if that's not there I'm not looking at it and when it is I am and then we simply left click and there we go. 
it says that it's been fertilized and you can actually see the fertilizer on it. So we're going to go and do that for the entire field. The next thing to do is equip your hoe and again be looking at the field and go ahead and hoe it. And then it will say it's plowed when it's done and it goes this nice brown farmland sort of color. So with our field ready, we now right click with the bag and select field once again. And then we're going to select the uh, wheat grain that we have right here. And then we go, we've got four of those. Then once again, we just look down at the field and we left click and we'll spread the seed down there. So that's number one. And then we're going to do the rest of them. So number two, this will be number three here and number four finally in this corner. So that is now it. Our farm is done and now it's just a case of waiting and it will eventually grow. Now what I'm going to do is fence mine off again with some crude fencing like I did with my carrot farm that I had on this side in the previous season. So if you want to build the fence it's just here on the build menu you can go to fences and also gates and build just these simple fences. That of course is completely up to you. You don't need to do it. There are no like pests in game or anything like that that are going to steal your crops and in fact on the fences themselves it does say here a type of fence decorative structure that provides aesthetic values. There's no defense to it or anything like that. It just looks kind of cool. I will mention while I'm here that if you've put a seed down and it was a mistake, you can just go ahead and select your hoe and then go and hoe the land once again. Now doing this will clear the land of that seed. However, unfortunately, it does mean the seed is used up. So it does remove it and means you could you know, replant something else here that the land is still plowed and ready to go. Uh, but it does unfortunately remove the seed from actually growing there. In terms of building the fence, it's just a case of placing it down and then using the hammer like you'll do for many other builds in the game and the gate is just the same. The only resource that's required for them is sticks so it is super easy to make and I do think it adds a nice little touch to the farm and sort of starts to get your base looking a little bit more built out and a bit cooler in my opinion. And so there we have it a very small little farm that we've built from scratch on the other side of our house with a little gate where we can easily walk in and out and obviously adds that aesthetical value to the farm site. So as I say now it's just a case of waiting and it does take a reasonably long amount of time to do so I like to start this off each season start a farm off then and then go ahead and play the game as I normally would and complete quests and things like that and then eventually the farm has grown and we harvest the resources from it and everything's good so I'm gonna wait for that to happen and then I'll show you guys what that looks like when it's all been done now after one season my wheat is still growing and uh, is not yet ready to harvest however over here I decided to go ahead and plant something different and we've actually planted some rye in here now you see that in order to harvest this you actually do need a different tool and that tool is called the scythe so what I'm gonna do now is show you how you can get hold of one of those in the game. So you'll see that in Gustovia, we can talk to Edwin right here and say, show me your wares. And then if we scroll down here, you'll see you got this thing here, a stone sickle. So we're going to go ahead and buy just one of those. There we go. Very good. So if we take the stone sickle back with us, we have it right here and we go ahead and equip that. And then we just left click on some of the uh, rye right here. Then boom, there you go. We see we're actually harvesting the rye. So if we put that away a second, you'll see that as we hover over it, it does say you need an item that's called a scythe. However, with the stone sickle on me, you'll see that you can indeed harvest it just using that. So early game, that is going to be your way of getting this rye harvested. So with this entire field harvested, if we go ahead and open our inventory, you'll see that we managed to get 51 rye. So rye has a variety of uses, and one of them is you can turn the rye back into rye grain, which can then be replanted to grow more rye. This is something that happens later on in the game once you've built a barn and have the required crafting area, but it is something you can use it for once you get more into farming. So from nine rye grain, we managed to get the 51 rye out of that. So it's a pretty good return, and it's a crop that grows at a certain time of year where not much else grows. So that's kind of handy as well. Now, I now have a few different fields growing here. We've got a couple over here and also one on the other side of this house over here. And when I go into the management section over here, then I can see different stats for my fields if I click on this icon right here. It basically tells me information like the tax and how much of each crop is growing in each field, as well as the field's location on a map down here. If I want to get really detailed, I can double click on field number three and it gives me all of the stats. So plants growth, ready for harvest, fertilized, plowed, not rubbed, and unplowed land. It tells me all about all of that, as well as if there's a barn nearby. And later on, you'll be able to go to this screen right here and set villager working schedules and choose what they're doing and things like that. Now, I wanted to mention this because it is obviously part of farming going forwards. But of course, the purpose of this video is all about farming in your first year and early on in the game. So I'm not going to go into that in detail in this video. But if it is something that you guys would like to see, then leave a comment and drop a like on this video. And if this video does get a lot of traction and there's a demand for that more advanced farming tips, then I'll be sure to do that. Just to say the wheat has now grown as well and similarly to the rye we are going to need to use the scythe here. So if I open up my inventory you'll see that right there we've got the scythe or the stone sickle as it's called here and that works to harvest the wheat as well. So with that area now harvested if we open up our inventory let's scroll down here and we can see there we've got 25 wheat from just four that we planted. So that is farming in a nutshell guys. I really hope today's video helped and if it did please do consider liking and subscribing for more but for now I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.